create a flux image. So we are going to use a flux 0.1 turbo alpha. This is a model that has been released by Alibaba.com, which they're calling as Ali Mama Creative. I don't know why. So this is going to be a distilled model. What is distillation? Distillation is nothing but you take a really big model and then you try to create a smaller model. And usually the smaller model requires lesser compute. So the same way Flux Turbo Alpha just takes eight steps. As you can see here in this picture, the original Flux model took 30 steps to create this image, while Flux Turbo took only eight steps. Because it requires less number of steps, you can run this inference. That means you can create your own image just in four seconds. All it takes is four seconds. The model is available on Replicate for you to play. I'm going to run through a couple of prompts for us to understand how it is. One thing that I found is this model is as same as the original Flux. You might actually find some details missing. Probably I'm not sure I'm not able to find anything. So for example, I took this prompt from Stable Diffusion Reddit and uh, this is the prompt. So for the original Flux, you can see that this is the image that it had created and with a Flux 0.1, I don't know if it is 0.1 or 1, 1 Turbo Alpha, we created this image. I would say this image is really, really good and all we took was like 4.7 seconds. So you have got this main character, so the prompt goes like this. An 80 senior portrait photo with a side view double exposure on the top left. So there is like this photo that is 80s and there is this double exposure on the top left. This is a really long prompt. One thing with Flux is, uh, it's not like a stable diffusion. So you can actually give like proper English prompt and that can understand these things and summarize and create whatever you want to create. Or if you want to use, you can use Flux prompt generator from Hugging Face. Uh, somebody has created a space like this. You can go here and give your details and then it can give you the prompt. Or the worst thing or the easiest thing that you can do is, you can go to something like Claude AI and then just briefly mention what you want to do. For example, you can say I'm trying to create a picture with the following three elements. A cat playing a violin, a cow jumping over a moon in the space, and also a dish plate running with a spoon. One thing that I've noticed is for this particular prompt, somehow Flux never gives me all the three elements that I wanted. So maybe there is an opportunity to improve the prompt. So I'm going to show you a quick demo now. So go to this link, which I linked in the YouTube description. So you can go here and then just like literally run something here. So you might go bottom and then find some examples. Let, let's go with this bulb example. So this example, if you see a light bulb instead of usual filament, there's a small sailboat with its sails unfurled. So this is a really great prompt. I want to paste this prompt and click run. So for the very first time when I run this, you can see that the, the, the flux service that is available here on replicate, it is cold, which means the model is not loaded. So it is booting up, the model will get loaded. So for the first time, it will take more than four seconds because it's literally loading the model. But after you have loaded the model, it will take only four seconds for it to do the inference. So let's wait for the model to be loaded. And after the model is loaded, we can start doing inference. There is another interesting prompt that I came across on Stable Diffusion Reddit. And the prompt is quite detailed one, but the quality of the picture just for eight steps in four seconds, the quality of the picture that we have got and the details are really, really amazing. I'm going to read the prompt for you very briefly. In a dimly lit subway car, a woman sits on a bench absorbed in a glow of her smartphone. And as you can see here, the details are quite really good. So there is a subway car, there's a bench on which the woman is sitting, and there is a glow on her face from her smartphone. You can literally see the glow clad in a brown jacket. So there is a brown jacket over a crisp white shirt and a blue jeans she embodies the essence of a modern urban life. Her attention fully captured by the screen in her hands. Besides her a black bag, as you can see, there's a black bag adorned with an intricate pattern wrist on a seat, hinting at the personal stories, the daily routines that accompany city dwellers. And there are like a lot more details in it, but this is an excellent example of the kind of details that a distal, even distal model, Flux is really good, that even a distal model could capture this detail, quite amazing. So I'm going to go back to the one that we were trying to run. So this is the one that we were trying to run, the light bulb one. So I'm going to go back here to Claude, create a new Claude chat if you want, or you can continue here. So I'm, I'm going to just give a brief description about what I want to create, and then we'll use the prompt literally from Claude, and then paste it on uh, the uh, replicate demo. So I'm trying to 
create an image using stable diffusion. So I'm mentioning stable diffusion here because uh, I don't think Claude would know what is flux. So stable diffusion kind of can help. But one thing that you have to understand is stable diffusion and flux have like totally different prompting guides. So just keep that in mind. So I'm trying to create an image using stable diffusion. These are the things I want in the image. So a cat playing a violin, a cow jumping over a moon, make it a full moon. This is a cover for a kid's story book. So this is all the detail that I'm going to give. I could give the same thing as a prompt, but it may not be really good. So I'm going to just take this prompt that it has given and it gives me additional details about, you know, why it is such a thing. I'm going to copy this literally, go back to my flux turbo alpha, paste it here and click run. One thing that when you run, something that you need to pay attention to is the seed. So if you want to reproduce this, you need to know the seed. And as we are speaking within four seconds, we already got this could be a really great cover for a children's storybook. All you have to do is take this, add a bunch of text. In fact, you can try that with flux as well. So I can go here, add a neon glowing text in beautiful pink that says violin, just violin. Let's, let's stick to violin. Okay. So I've just added one line at the end. I've not like changed the prompt a lot. And as you can see here, now I've got different. Yeah, great. I've got while in there with a beautiful pink glowing text, neon glowing text. I've got the cow that is jumping. One thing is it's not jumping over the moon. It's not like leaping over the moon, but still it is jumping. And still it is a beautiful cover for a children's storybook. You can change the aspect ratio. So we have got like one is to one, which is how usually books are. But let's say you're trying to create this for a YouTube thumbnail or something. So you can do 16 by nine and then there are like different aspect ratios that you can use it. And in fact, if you were to use it for something like a thumbnail or a, a Instagram post or something, then you can actually give a specific width. And again, uh, we have got a really beautiful picture, but you might have noticed as we had another run, the detail about the text has gone missing. So sometimes you have to do it multiple iterations, but in short, Flux One Turbo Alpha is a great model if you were to have a really faster inference without compromising the quality of the image or the details a lot. And another interesting important thing is this is a model that is available on replicates. If you were to build a product, let's say you want to build a product in which people are going to come and ask for pictures, especially something like this for children's book or something where you don't have to have really strong photographic details, then this is a model that you should try. Again, this is a model that comes from Alibaba or Ali Mama Creative. I don't know why they call it Ali Mama, but this is a derivative or a distilled model of Flux One Dev, and it just takes eight steps. The only catch here is that it comes with the same license, which means non-commercial. I'm not sure how many how many people are actually respecting the license with respect to Flux at this point. But this model is here. If you want to try out, I link both the Hugging Face model link and also the replicate link in the YouTube description for you to try out. I was quite stunned seeing the model. There are a lot of uh, hyper parameters available on this page. Definitely check out that as well. See you in another video. Happy prompting.